I've seen in your writing, I think it was even on the NASM blog, you wrote about soldiers who are hitting the end of the day and you described it as mind dumping, which I thought was a great phrase for it. Um, you know, you hit the end of the day, you tell yourself like, oh, today was stressful. I'm going to go. Well, I'll let you. What's mind dumping? You define it. <laughs> yeah. So it's just like you don't. At the end of the night, what what is done and is done. You know, as my track coach used to say in college, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Like, you're done with the day. There's no use ruminating on it. Uh, just mind dump everything and just get into this zen-like, relaxed state and let your brain figure out the rest when you sleep because that's essentially what happens when you sleep anyway is as soon as you hit the deepest stages of sleep, like REM sleep, your brain is going to take all those memories and all those thoughts and all those facts and figures you learned from the day before and figure out which ones to keep and which ones not to keep and truly have no control over that because you're mostly unconscious at the time. And then you wake up and it's time to start a new day. Yeah. So I hear you saying like hit the end of the day, instead of telling yourself the story of like this day was stressful, I'm going to drink on the couch and play video games that like letting that go recognizing that the past is past and then focusing on sleep and recovery. Cause that's actually going to be the more resilient strategy than like, let me Netflix and binge and drink a bunch of yeah. wine. Yeah. It's the most resilient. And like I said, you can't control what your brain chooses to keep and what it chooses not to keep. It's, it, you know, it, it does it itself. You have no control over it. 